Hello starseeds and lightworkers and welcome to your 1111 portal messages. So this 1111 portal is in conjunction with the Taurus full moon total lunar eclipse that we are having today, November 8th when I'm recording this video, okay? And this being a total lunar eclipse, this is the second total lunar we've had. We had another one in Scorpio earlier in the year. This has been a pretty heavy time, all right? 2022 has been pretty crazy. And this 1111 portal, I feel, is a gateway to higher vibrational energies to help sustain all lightworkers and starseeds through this really crazy time. You know, there are a lot of things that um, have recently been exposed and are coming out. You know, we just had uh, the Scorpio new moon solar eclipse on October 25th, and now we're going to have the Taurus um, full moon lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse, all right? So there's a lot of things that are being exposed. There's a lot of energies that are shifting. There is a, a lot of uh, fight in the, the spiritual realm. Um, if you know, you know, right? Okay, so this gateway is truly a solace. It, it's You're still going to be among this 3D earth plane, but it, it's almost like it's an overlapping, and I can't even say dimension because you're still here, but there, it's like this overlapping that you're going to be existing in, okay, which brings you solace, brings you comfort, brings you stability, brings you grounding through all these crazy energies that are at play right now. Like um, the Piscean Age is fighting to hold on, right? But we've moved into the Aquarian Age and all those old paradigms, old light codes need to be removed. It's time for the Aquarian Age, the, the age of technology, of light, of wisdom, of innovation, of freedom, of truth, okay? It's a much, much different energy. And so this 1111 portal for you guys is taking you into that like overlapping, and I, I don't know how else to articulate that. Like I just keep seeing um, the overlapping, like um, you know the uh, depiction like the Christianity depiction of the, the earth, the firmament above, right? That's just what I keep seeing is like the firmament above. And um, you're here, but it's like in a different arc of here, okay? So let's pull some cards. Hopefully I can articulate this better as we get into the cards. Right, so we have remembrance coming through. Galactic core. Telepathy. Imagination. And dolphin play. Yeah, see, this right here, I love that that's card 22. That to me is really talking about this portal is a gateway of solace for all the light workers and star seeds who are just really feeling the heaviness of energy. And you know, I'll just tell you guys over the last six months, Spirit has opened my eyes to so much about the world and the structure of it and the powers that be and you know who I am who other people are in this world you know and what this is all about and I just I'm in such a, a different space than I was even you know a year ago two years ago and for you guys I feel you've been getting that that same awakening and just seeing a lot of different stuff and coming into the understanding of a lot of different stuff that's been a bit shocking to your system, to your uh, 
frame of reference of reality, okay? The remembrance is allowing yourself to grow beyond the past, beyond the past version of yourself as a starseed, as a light worker, uh, of what you thought you were, what you thought you were here to do, okay? Because I feel like missions are changing. There's been a shift in the timeline here. I don't know. It's just... Um, and I know every one of you watching this, you're like, no, no, sister, I, I know, I know, okay? So this is a message of really letting the old version of yourself go because the galactic core, there is a, a, a new ignition of you, of these Aquarian Age light codes, okay? And through these major activations... That are now going to begin taking place as you step through that 1111 portal that's where again you're really going to start changing in in what you're saying in um your vibration and it doesn't mean like what you were doing before was wrong or bad it's not about that it's the age the time the energy is shifting again so guess what light workers and star seeds are coded to be able to do that shift those unexpected shifts okay changes in the timeline you guys are able and that's what's happening that's what's going on with you so don't um you know be freaking out and all of that because right here telepathy communication you are communicating with the pleiadians for sure every one of you but this can also branch out in you know to other collectives but the pleiadians are very very active right now not surprised um because the taurus Scorpio axis, there is a connection to the Pleiadians, okay, um, so I'm not surprised to see that, um, they're really coming in strong, pay attention to your channeled messages, pay attention to the crazy signs and synchronicities that you're getting, okay, dreams, because they are very much talking to you right now, trying to help you sort through everything to understand, because imagination, this goes back to the galactic core, where there's all this new information, all this new insight coming in, okay, but here, with the dolphin play, even though this all feels really heavy, there's a lot that's coming out, don't take things too seriously, okay, um, because you can really start feeling like you're going crazy, if you do, right, if you're like, oh my gosh, this, this, and this, how, do, how does nobody see this, and, and, oh my, you know, like, I get it, I get it, I get it, a thousand times I get it, but for your own sanity, for your own happiness, for your own um, well-being, that's why all of us are going through this 1111 portal, so that you can continue to do your work, but still remain very grounded and solid and stable amongst all this chaotic energy, this unexpected turn in the timeline, okay? Actually, no, I want to go here. Let's see what other collectives want to come through. So we have the Andromedans and um, free will manifestation. We have Syrians responsibilities lessons growing up. Ooh, look at that! That comes right out under Galactic Core. Some of us are getting our training wheels taken off. <laughs> Nagas lovers erotica sensuality. All right, some of you are like, I need a spiritual companion, okay? Right now, the Pleiadians are being that spiritual companion for you, okay? Giving you information, giving you insight. Um, also, some of you that like crave um, a romantic connection, I don't feel like you have the time and energy for that with the work, okay? Okay. Um, it's, it's like, don't focus on, on the romance right now, okay? I know that you feel lonely, you want some support, you want somebody that understands you, you don't want to feel like 
you have to do this all alone. And I know that doesn't pertain for all of you because some of you are in your twin flame union, okay? And you and your partner are both getting a lot of different downloads right now, okay? So there is that confirmation of that for those of you who are in your twin flame union doing the spiritual work together. Others of you who feel that you're missing that other piece of you, um, right now, and this this isn't forever, but I feel like right now that um, till through about March, it's like you really you're going to be really immersed in your spiritual work, your own personal understanding, transformation, and growth. Okay, so the Pleiadians are really trying to communicate with you and fill you with a sense of connectedness and belonging, so that you're not feeling so lonely, so lost. Okay. Now we have uh, the Venusarians, Romance, Soulmates, Empathy. Yeah, see, it's coming, okay? It's coming up ahead. But right now, um, I feel like, because we have about two months left in 2022, and then the first three months of 2023, like, the next three to five months, you guys who are uh, single, you're really going to be focused on some sort of aspect of your own spiritual growth or your spiritual work. And there's just no space, no time for that right now. But I see it here in the future because imagination is what's to come, right? It's in the future. And, uh, okay, yeah, you really... This is about, you know, being bold, standing your ground, and it's sitting under play. You don't have to fight anybody to make them believe or understand what it is that you know and that you see, okay? If somebody thinks that they know everything and all this, just let them. Just let them. Don't even waste your time and energy. You know, I have dealt with people in my life who, um, and some of you, these might be spiritually based folks as well, who have... They're very gifted, right? And they kind of just treated me like I was less than or whatever. And it used to like really get to me because I'm like, how, who are you to act like this? Like, how are you dismissing me, my gifts and what I do and what I bring? Like, you know, it just, it would really hurt my heart. But now I just don't care. I'm like, you know what? We all experience spirit differently communicate with spirit in our own personal languages and if somebody thinks that they are just the cream of the crop and they know all just let them just let them all right um typically people who are just like have to be out have to be right have to know this is this is what it is and this is what's happening oftentimes i feel that they uh lack that depth of spirituality because it's like those who know, know, and they don't have to convince anybody of what they know. They just know what they know. And in that knowing, they insert the light codes into the earth plane, as well as very, very, very subtly planting seeds of light in the consciousness of those they encounter, right? And so you don't have to be the loudest voice. See yourself over these next three to five months as planting seeds in the consciousness ever so subtly of others, as well as as you maintain your vibration, you allow the Pleiadians, the Andromedans, the Syrians to work through you to anchor those Aquarian light codes in even stronger. All right, let's pull some more cards. Look at that personal mission right now all of you there is some growth and some transformation taking place and stepping through this 1111 portal is really going to help ease uh the stress and the tensions that are all around you and look at we got dream messages which again the pleiadians coming through very strong do the work remember who you used to be 
the way you used to believe, maybe even the way you channel energy is all changing. Emerald tablets. All right. Yeah. Um, these are very, very activating. I highly recommend you read these and then read them again and again and again and again. Um, on my Soul Mana channel, I've actually put the introduction, the first tablet and the second tablet out. Spirit is really pushing me <laughs> to continue the series. Um, I just, I've been really busy, but also it's like every time I do one of those, I'm activated all over again and I need some time to really sit in that energy and that activation from, you know, reading the tablet. So I will be um, putting out all of them. There's 15, but um, we all, we all need some activation from the Emerald Tablets. There's a lot of wealth in there, wisdom that will help each and every one of us understand. Maybe spend the 1111 portal immersing yourself in the Emerald Tablets. Shadow Beings. Disillusionment. See, I knew it. And triggers. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much just have the same message. See, this shadow being energy is of the Piscean age that just does not want to let go. Okay. Um, and, and you see, I, I just, I don't, I'm, because this is YouTube, I don't want to really go into anything. Okay. But that's why I say, if you know, you know. And um, this energy is holding on very, very tight and not wanting humanity to shift and transform, okay? And you, just like me, are now seeing this in a whole new way. And it's hard, okay? And then the people around you who think they know everything and you know nothing can be very triggering. Don't waste your time or energy on that, all right? Right now... It's time to just do the work on self to allow this uh, transformation with the shifting timeline, the unexpected, like, um, that's just how I feel it, okay? If you see it in a different way, by all means, go with what you have channeled, what you are feeling. Spirit has just shown it to me as this, the timeline, the, the way it's, something has been done to it, and it wasn't supposed to, to happen, or happen this soon or something, okay? However, you've already been hard-coded for such things, and now it's time to bring all of that programming online, so to speak. And that's why you're like, ah, right now. And that's why your whole landscape has got to change because the original timeline that you were working with, you were fully equipped for that, okay? In thought and consciousness and wisdom and all of that but this change now you've got to become a different version of yourself to be able to to properly function okay in the in this new timeline and this 1111 portal is literally like the activation that's bringing all of this new programming online for you and that's why I say those of you who are seeking love and romance you just don't have the space right now you are going to be going through a lot of transformation over the next three to five months okay those of you who are already in um, your spiritual union you guys are going to be getting like the same things okay the same things and um if you feel any weird tension or rift just show up in the connection between the two of you, immediately eradicate it. It's not you guys. Okay? It's not you guys. All right, let's pull some more cards. But really look into those emerald tablets. Pay attention to your dreams. Don't be afraid to do the work to change. You've got Pleiadians, Andromedans, and Syrians helping. All right, so movement, meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. All this red, yeah, you've got to reground all this new 
light codes, all this new information, okay? Integration, yep, see? I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all humanity into a new dimension, uh-huh. Look at this, we got some heart chakra, earth angel. I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who live on her. See, that's what you are, each and every one of you. Fire element. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. Yeah, I'm going to burn away this Piscean Age paradigm and energies at all costs. Nothing is going to stop me. Crown chakra. I know I am a part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Um, that's the messages and connection to these other collective consciousnesses, okay? And here's the balance. I understand and embrace the opposite forces in life that bring about balance. You're not alone through this process, okay? And I know that it's been heavy, it's been tiring, but right now you're just shifting and this 1111 portal is going to bring so much like uh, sustenance to your soul, to your heart, to your mind. You're going to feel fed, okay? You're running a bit on empty. A lot of things are shifting. You're questioning yourself. You're questioning you know, what you're here to do and why. And, you know, the darkness gets to be a little bit too much for me at times as well. All right. But it's because there's been this shift in the timeline and it wasn't supposed to happen now or ever. And now you've got to like readjust, shift who you are. And as you do that, you create that space for all of humanity so they don't get lost in that sauce of chaotic freaking energy. They can rise with you. Codes of the seeds. The blueprint, the blueprint is within you. Take the next steps. Mm -hmm. the anointed answer the call leadership empowerment soul gifts yep you are a chosen one or you wouldn't be watching this and when i say chosen one i mean you are well equipped at the soul and you signed up for all of this release the petals transformation death and rebirth shedding all change see spirit just keeps going like over and over the same message throughout all of this the holy grail Stop the endless searching and requests. Mm -hmm. This 1111 portal is going to be very soothing to you. Okay. And, and things are going to make much more sense. You are in the process of being reprogrammed for the changes that have taken place. And all is well. Everything is as it should be. Pay attention, especially to your dreams. Look into those emerald tablets. Don't get caught up in anybody's mouth and, and what they're spouting, no matter how crazy it is. Okay, don't don't even engage your energy in that because it, it just sucks you right back. Okay, you need to stay in this, this arc because as you stay there, you vibe there, you allow others to rise to that level and they're not stuck in this crazy loop. Okay. So those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.